Thank you very much. May I now call on the representative of the Association, Association Internationale pour l'Egalité des Femmes. Mr. President, on the issue of promotion of truth and justice, the Council's urgent attention is required with respect to the 1988 massacre of some 30,000 political prisoners in the Islamic Republic of Iran. They were extrajudicially killed due to a fatwa by the Iranian Supreme Leader Khomeini calling for the extermination of members of the opposition People's Mujahideen. In her report to the UN General Assembly last summer, the late Special Rapporteur on Iran, Ms. Asma Jahangir, stated that overwhelming evidence shows that thousands of persons were summarily killed. She said the families of the victims have a right to know the truth about these events and the fate of their loved ones without risking their reprisal. They have the right to a remedy which includes the right to an effective investigation of the facts and public disclosure of the truth and the right to reparation. The Special Rapporteur called for a thorough and independent investigation into these events. On 14 June 2017, Ms. Jahangir was jo joined by the Special Rapporteur on the promotion of truth, the Special Rapporteur on the right to freedom of opinion, the Special Rapporteur on the extrajudicial executions and the Chair of the Working Group on Enforced on Involuntary Disappearances in a collective letter to the Iranian authorities which states that please provide information about measures taken to investigate the extrajudicial killings to 1988 and to bring perpetrators to justice if no investigation have taken place. Please explain why. In their letters of reply of 11 August and 11 September 2017, the Iranian authorities refused to say a single word about the massacre, let alone give details of an investigation. After nearly 30 years, no investigation into the 1988 massacre has been carried out by the Iranian authorities. It is high time therefore that the Council end the impunity for Iranian officials. It is the time for the Council to establish an international commission of inquiry to ensure the achievement of truth and justice in this regard. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much.